to his dress sense and give us something Thank to remember you, on the gentlemen. hockey. First set, first leg. It's Martin to throw first. Game on. So the defending champion with the darts in the first leg. Ninety-two. Nice last dart. I had the pleasure of uh, sharing breakfast with both of these men this morning, and I have to say, they were both very laid back 16. and very calm about what could be the next five sets ahead of them. First of three sets, it could well go all the way this one, but both guys really fancied their chances. Fifty-five. Scott Mitchell knows if he can start well and put pressure on in the early stages against Martin Adams, then we really could have a match on our hands. And that's what he needs to do, just building on a decent start, but then not to stray into the one in the way that he did. 100. And what has changed for Wolfie in the last nine months? He's become a granddad. And that's grandmum with a new Wolfie's hairdo. wife, Sharon, with a lovely new hairdo. They met at her 18th birthday party. They still won't tell me how many years 16. ago that was. But hello this afternoon to their grandson, Xavier, who's uh, watching back at home. And also to everyone cheering on Scott Mitchell, of which there are many in and around the Brands Gore area down in Dorset. Quite a few in the Frimley area of Surrey as well, and you can tell who they are because they're all wearing pink. 95. Well, I hope so, Scotty Brucey. I really 158. do. 158. Well, single 18 probably here just to uh, leave him 100 if Martin Adams can't Yorkwa, take out 99. this 199. He had the first throw in this first leg. Will he go treble 20, double 10, or will he go the showbiz route? No. Treble 20 it is for double 10. Ooh, he went quite the way off. Scott, you require 100. So for the first leg against the darts, Scott Mitchell. Treble 19. Leaves the double. 62. Martin, you require. Well, Katie still smiling. That was a great chance for her old man. Adams there with a steady marker, and now he can just glance off the barrel and in. Oh no, no glance Scott. to the side. Scott, you require 38. Another chance for Mitchell to nick a nervy first leg. That's a good marker. And he's blocked it. Can he lift over the top? He can not too much. I'm surprised he went straight for Martin, it then. He likes double 10. 16. I thought he might have taken six off and go for a favourite double. But Adams is not going to give him a second chance to go for a favourite double. Adams. And what could have been an early scare for the Wolf there, and I think second he knows it. He gets first. away with. Game on. Mitchell then with the darts. Eight He'll be five. desperate to hold his throw now. Well, he will after that opening leg, Vassos. You know, Martin Adams is not going to give you that many chances, and when they come along, you really have to take them. I mean, what, what is facing Scott Mitchell today? A, a man who, since he won his first world championship, one has hundred. only had two defeats in the last five lakeside tournaments and has only averaged under 90 in four of those 23 matches. He is as consistent as consistent can be. Yeah, the last man to beat Wolfie on the lakeside stage. Ted Hankey in the semi-finals of 2009. Who was the first? To beat Martin Adams on this very stage. I'd say that was Magnus Karras back in 1994. Long, long time ago. This is 19th consecutive year in this world championship yep the champion in 2007 2010 and 2011 the runner-up in 2005 
five times a semi-finalist. Three times a quarter-finalist, and that was close to the first 1080 of the match. But Martin Adams, if you are looking for an Achilles heel, has been Martin, top seed before and lost in the first round back in 1997 against Roger Carter. And he goes 2 0 up here. Wanted another treble 20 to leave double eight. And he'll come back for double top Scott if Mitchell can't take out this 116. He'll start with treble 20. Treble 20 leaves double 18. 100. Only a Martin, ton. For a break of throw then for Martin Adams. Once again, a little wayward with his first dart. Having to adjust too much. And he's not quite found the range on his doubles yet. Little shake of the head. From the number one seed. And the grimmest two. Two eights for Scott Mitchell. Scott Mitchell. Look at him pump his fist. Game on. That's what it means. So chances for both players to break the throw. But it's level at one apiece then as Adams sets out again with another ton 40. And Scott Mitchell matches it. Interesting there, Martin Adams picking off the 25 quite early in the leg. We often see Dutch players employing that sort of tactic. 100. And the match from out of the black, the flights of fancy. Those flights for sale on the Wolfie website. Scott Mitchell, no stranger to Scotty Dog memorabilia either. Here we go then. Oh, we pulled it. Martin, you require if you're so inclined, you can buy a Scotty Dog key ring. Well, if he gives me mates rates, I might. 57. Scott, you require right. 136 one, now for Scott Mitchell. Can't finish now. Missing the big 20 on his last darts and his last visit. 43. Cost him dear. Martin, you require 64. To hold the throw then, Adams. Double eight. No. Yeah, he's just Scott, a little bit off again, Martin Adams. He's, he's giving Scott Mitchell chances in every leg. Single 18, leaves the bullseye. Oh, and he was a whisker 68. away, as once again Mitchell Martin, doesn't take 16. his chance to break the throw. Surely he won't get another. Two fours. Two twos. You put the mockers on him there, Vassos. Well, Wolfie blew it. for daughter and mum two eights for scott mitchell one more dart to go nine and you can just feel the Martin tension you wherever you're sat 16. at home or here at the lakeside 19 visits and counting for martin adams yeah. and he Go. still Go. feels Go. the nerves martin adams. but despite them he finds the double eight finally to hold his throw in on. this first set So Martin Adams, 13 22. missed doubles so far in this match. Adams now voted onto the BDO board. 99. So on combined. the board and on the hockey. <laughs> Combining the role of uh, administrator and uh, player as well. Big changes behind the scenes at the British Dance Organisation in the last few months. 16. I'm sure 
the man who used to head the organization up ollie croft is sat at home watching the action i'm sure he'll enjoy what he sees over the course of the week as well of course the hordes that flock to the lakeside now the seats to be had this week complete sellout 41 and this is a much better lake vassos for martin adams here against the throw he's already taken the darts away from scott mitchell to do with the treble here 60. 136 points ahead. Mitchell needs as many as he can, but that's not enough. 100. First to three legs wins a set. First to three sets through to the second round. Oh, good 140. Good time to hit that 140 as well. Scott Mitchell's son Sam oh no his dad's under an enormous amount of pressure now in this set 60 and Adams has got at least six darts to try and take it out for the first set then bullseye will leave double 16 oh he's got it two 16s for the set for Adams 17 maybe he should have gone double 16 bullseye first double I think he's hit at the first time of asking Can Mitchell put some pressure on? Not at the moment. Well, he's, he's got to find a treble from somewhere here. He's only 40. hit one of them Martin in this leg so 32. far. Under no pressure at all then. Martin Adams for the set. Game shot. And the first set. Martin Adams. Well, you say no pressure at all, but I just think the mere fact Second that Martin set. Adams first is defending his title He's going for that Bristow-esque hat-trick. Has put himself under just a little bit of pressure in this first match. A cagey opening set, 16. I think, between both players there. And both playing well below par. Yes, Adams became the first man since Ray Barnabel to successfully defend the title when he did so here last 16. year. Barney won in 98 and 99. But only Eric Bristow has ever won this world title three times. 1984, 1985 and 1986. Back to the presence. Scotty Mitchell still trying to give us the game's first 180 here. That Zyder Down match that they played in Holland in December that I mentioned was, was equally as cagey as this. And both players really do know each other very well. Martin Adams being the captain. Scott Mitchell, of course, an England international, part of the 12-man squad and has been since 2009. So there's a lot of respect. They know each other's game inside 16. out. And I don't think that is helping either relax and find their fluency at the moment. Plays well for England, Scott Mitchell. He's won five of his six matches representing 100. his country. Snuck into the treble with his final dart there, Martin Adams. That's a great first start. and so much open space in which to pop another in. 140. And he does. So Mitchell looking good at the moment on his throw. 140. Referee Nick Rolls looks on in the background. 140. Scott, you require 101. Oh, and that's perfect for the first dart. Nine would leave double 16, only just, but now here comes the double. Oh, and only just five. missing. Ken Adams now, now step in and steal. Seen him do this so often in the past. He'll start with the treble 20. Treble 20 leaves double 18 now. Not this time. One I say I've hundred. seen him do it so often in the past. Stop He's just not looking 16. like a man going to take out a big checkout at the moment. Mitchell for double eight. Is he looking like a man to take out any checkout? Game Eventually, shot. yes. The first leg. Scott Mitchell. Second leg, it's Martin throwing first. And there's no celebration from Mitchell. No emotion as he gets that double either. 
Lots of room now for the first 180 of the match. No. 140. He had a bit more shoulder, didn't he? As Red Riding Hood for once cheers on the wolf. One. See, hundred. even at the darts, hostilities, hostilities even, are suspended. His granny in. One hundred. This is that point in the leg where Martin Adams will be wanting to stick in the one forty or the one eighty. Get down to a finish. And apply pressure. Keep control. Mitchell, solid, but not spectacular enough to put pressure on the throw. 85. Martin, you require 130. Too many loose darts for Scott Mitchell. From both players, really, but another treble 20 here from Adams. Leaves him double eight. This will settle him down. Yes, Game it will. Shot and the second leg. Martin Adams. With the big finishes, one three six is lovely because you don't have to adjust Turn on the second dart. Get them both in the trouble Hang twenty. On. You're howling like him and him and the man who threw that. Fifty-five. And that's a poor start with the darts. Will Adams take advantage? Not 16. really, it has to be said. Choosing, once again then, not to go for the cover on treble 19s, but to try and pick off the bull or the 25. 16. I wonder if that's a deliberate strategy from Martin Adams. It's twice he's done it now. We could do with a treble this leg. Not have one yet. Should switch to 19s now. And does. Employs the cover well done and gets that treble, treble you were asking for, Vasov. Scott Mitchell, the owner of his own landscape gardening business. Also a very keen golfer and a motocross enthusiast. He used to play a bit of football as well, once upon a time. 16. Nice to play with Jamie Redknapp in a under 11s team many, many years ago. And I know all, all his old football buddies are watching him this afternoon. They'll be celebrating if he can complete the uh, maximum. No. It's a 6 one forty instead. But he's in control. And this the set that he started with the darts in the first and the third legs. Wolfie for a 180. Yeah. Now that is the perfect time for Wolfie to impose himself into the match. Treble 18 still puts Mitchell on a finish, but he's missed it. Adams, who took out 1-3-6 in the previous leg, can now steal the throw. 12 leaves double 16. In the context of the match, this could be a very big leg. Martin Adams. Wow, Scott Mitchell has just been bombarded with the Wolfie Blitz. Game on. 180, 104. And Martin Adams from 284 completing the leg in six darts. And now starting to motor. That was eight perfect darts in a row from Wolfie. The perfect leg, of course. A nine darter. We've not seen one for a while. Maybe this is the year. 100. And a ton for Martin Adams there, who at one stage was averaging in the low 80s, but he's now dragged himself back into this match, into control of this match, 100. with a 91.5 average, that's okay.
first nine darts 100 shows you has been missing doubles and that's dragged the overall down a bit but this is lovely fluid play from martin adams and another maximum for the champion Well, the Wolfie fans are howling, Scott Mitchell is scowling, and this is for the set. For an 11 dart leg as well. Double six for the 12 dart leg. Oh, and he's busted. Well, I would say that's a slip up, but with Mitchell on 2-5-6, you know Wolfie's going to get another chance, and at least he can smile about it. Or needs a treble. 16. Doesn't get Martin one. So another six darts from 81 for a two set lead. Treble 12 leaves double 13, but single 12 leaves the bullseye. Game shot. And the second set. Martin Adams. Well, Red Riding Hood. Not as little as she once was. Martin Adams, not as young as he once was, but still rolling back the years. Here at the lakeside with that ball finish. Third set, first leg, it's Martin to throw first. Game on. And I love to see a player taking on the ball finish there. He didn't have to, Martin Adams. He could have set himself up for the, the double 16 that he loves. But, you know, the 81 is there to be taken. And 16. he did just that. You don't ruin your momentum, you don't stop yourself in your tracks, you just go for the double when it's available, whatever double it is. 85. Scotty Dog will be having that sinking feeling. He's never won on that lakeside stage. But he just couldn't take advantage of some early nerves from Adams. And there's our petal. No, it's, uh, it does get to you after a while, you know, you, you come here for a first match and, and lose. Plenty of players have done it in the past, but uh, you're staring defeat in the first round for the third year in a row. Get the feeling that this is not a happy home at all, but it's worth pointing out, it resided our Masters just before Christmas. Scott Mitchell was two sets down against Martin Adams and did come back to level at two apiece. 62. Be better dance than that, though, it has to be said. One hundred and forty. <laughs> well, we've got Bully and Dolly and Wolfie. Sixteen. Martin, you require 101. Still do it, of course. Treble 19, double 12. That's what he missed in the previous set. And he's 89. missed that double 12 again. He'll be back, though. 140. Martin, you require 12. Two sixes for a fourth leg in a row to move Game to within shot. two Time of the match. The no mistake. Martin Adams. Second leg, it's Scott throwing first. And Scotty Mitchell, with the dance to start this leg, could really do with something solid here, could really do 85. with little or no pressure on him and not allowing Martin Adams the chance at a double. Because Adams is now starting to be a little more proficient than he was in the first set. Trouble is, he's also scoring quite well, and Mitchell's got not much answer, it has to be said. 10 140s in the match for Martin Adams now. 100. Only a couple of 180s, but that's because he's been scoring so well on the, uh, the 140s. 12 ton pluses as well include a couple of ton plus checkouts for the world champion.
140. Not far away from a first 180, Scott Mitchell. But because he missed out on the 180, he's not now on a finish. The 180 would have left him with at least an opportunity on his throw. And Adams putting in the 140 at just the right time again. He'll have a shot out at 1-2-1. So 1-2-1. One, one. Martin one Good darts from Mitchell. Will they be in vain? Three twenties. Three elevens. Well, bullseye. That's only a wolf's whisker away 36. on that bullseye. Mitchell set up double 18. Really has to take out this double. So composes himself. Really handy marker that. Oh, and he just score. went too hard at it. Martin, you require 25. The puppy is panting. And is the wolf whistling? Nine. No. Scott, you require Scott begging 36. for it there. Two nines now for Scott Mitchell. Oh, and he oh, no. pulled it, didn't he? I think his chances have been there. And I rather get the feeling he's not going to get many more after 28. this. Martin, you require 16. A big wasted opportunity. Two eights for Adams. Still going to complete the leg, of course. It's all gone scrappy again, this match, isn't it? Double four. Very scrappy indeed. I can't believe Adams Scott, you require. has allowed Eight. Mitchell back in again. Perhaps that match in Holland is playing on his mind. Two sets Ten up there. The Only one, three, two. Scott Mitchell. There's a big leg for Mitchell. <laughs> Give me some support, says Scott Mitchell. Make some noise Perfect. in there it's for me. Martin to throw first. Game on. Finally gets that double four. But it was only to hold his throat. He's got to find a way to break down the big bad wolf. 140. Who started a leg with another ton 40. Nice to see them smiling. Half on the hockey though. These two England teammates. 60. I wouldn't be smiling if I was Scott Mitchell though. To be honest, I mean, he's a lovely lad, he's one of the most likeable lads on the circuit, but I think he's, he's not smiling through enjoyment, put it that way, it's a, it's a forced smile. 95. One hundred. He's, he's not putting pressure on Adams and hasn't done so so far in the match on Adam's throw he's won five out of five and he started first good thinking from Adams because even a single there would have left him uh, on a finish but took the treble twice now could we have two bullseyes and a double 16 surely not at this stage he is going for it now, treble 19 of course, after that 25 still leaves him a finish. He's back to the ball again for a 1-3-2. Yeah. Thank shot. you very and much. Martin Adams. It's sensible to go for the bullseye first because the 25 still leaves the checkout, but Four Martin minutes. Adams, the excellence first. of execution Came there. On. How good was that? The second time in the match there, Vassos, that Martin Adams, where he didn't have to go for the bullseye finish because his opponent wasn't on a checkout, still went for it anyway and got it. Yeah, but he's, he's prowled his way into form, hasn't 95. he? 95. He'll feel now that he can hit anything. Well, look 16. at the overall average, 92.8, which is about what Martin Adams would normally be throwing in the first round of a lakeside but if you take into account he's only hit one out of every four double he's gone for 
that average is actually very good. It's, it's those missed doubles that have dragged it down a bit. And most of them came in the first set. 15 of them in the first set, which he won 3-1. Forty-one. See, look, 50 darts thrown at a double between both players to give you an idea of, of the scrappy, edgy nature of some of the legs. 60. Yeah, but for Adams to hit one out of four is, is not his usual. He's only hit two out of ten attempts at, at, at uh, double eight. Double eight is one of his favourite doubles. He will know 59. he will have to play better than this. But we know he's got it in him. One forty here leaves him on quite a handy finish, but one no, only 100. only the ton. Mitchell, a one forty, a one eighty here will give him great hope that he can hold his throw. But he's, he's, the pressure's been applied, and he's thinking about it now. And you know he's got perspiration. He probably needs inspiration up there, and there's none coming his way. That expression on his face, it almost said, do you know what, get me off this stage. He won't give up though. 100. Scott Mitchell. Are these to be his final three darts of the Lakeside year? 81. And for Martin, Martin Adams, who has 80. gone out in the first round as a top seed before. The passage is open for him now. 25 leaves tops. He's got the 25. It's double top for the match. Oh, 14. just above the wire. Scott Mitchell wire, breathes again. 130 to stay in. Another treble 20. Leaves double five for Scott Mitchell. 120. It was like a gust of wind Martin blew Ewan that Barrett, final 40. dart way above the target as Adams wants double 20 for the match. And he's keeping his waiting. And yet 20. still we wait. Still Adams on double top. Scott Can't Ewan find Barrett, the target. 10. He's huffing and puffing is the Wolfie. Two fives. For Scott Mitchell, one leaves double two. Ten and he's got shot. it! And the fourth leg, Scott Mitchell! Well, fifth leg is he was almost snooker, Scott Mitchell. But in the end, the man in pink sunk the dart into that double bed. And Adams, once again, has to start from 5.01. And is that the moment, possibly, that could change the context of this match? Because look at this, just 60 from Adams, and straight into the treble 20 for Mitchell. But he just didn't capitalise on what was an excellent first dart. Rather Pulled than one and pushed the other, didn't yeah. he? Rather than relaxing, he just tensed up with his next two. 100. But the opportunity is still there with a 140 here to start to take control. 140. And he has done just that. So he's 50 odd points ahead, or was, in his bid to break Martin Adams for the first time in the match. And Adams just 100. keeps pummeling. The steady tons to force and up the ante once again, and Mitchell rising to it once again. 25 would be handy to leave him. 100. Oh, sorry, to leave on a finish. Bullseye would have uh, been good. It never gets easier, does it, for Sharon? Adams just shuffling out of the gloom. Now there's the chance. Mitchell's got six darts from 195. 
now really should pick off the 25 here. 60, see, 65 would have left him 130, and then just the one treble 20 would have left him a chance at a, at a double. Sure why he did that. He will be back, though. But he's back under pressure now. Scott, you require 100. He's got to hit two treble twenties. There's one of them. There's two of them. So far, so good. Oh, this is the double. Unlucky. Martin, you require 56. He holds his head in his hands. Two twenties for Martin Adams. Game. No Shot. mistake this time. And the match. He had some Martin double Adams. trouble, didn't he? But no trouble in the end. And he's through to round two.